Hey everybody, it's your girl Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video. This is going to be my updated 2017 everyday look. And your girl has improved so much. If you want to go back and check out my old videos, you will see that the improvement is so real. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to be showing you how, how I get this to look like this, you know? You know, it's an everyday process. It's literally what I do every day. I might contour highlight whatever but literally what i do every day and i'm gonna stop talking and get into this video if you guys enjoy it don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm not playing with you stop watching my videos and not subscribe i ain't playing with y'all no okay i'm done all right go check it out thing that i like to start out with is definitely prepping my face i do have oily skin and i want to make sure that the foundation which you could call my skin this right here uh -huh, stays all prepped and tight and moisturized and nice the first thing i'm going to do is my claudier um beauty elixir i love it so far i bought a kit and it has been amazing um this whole entire brand i have several of their products which you'll be seeing today it is completely amazing it's life-changing i'm definitely going to do a review on these so I go in with the beauty elixir first and then the Claudier um, serum. I'm just going to take this, just a little sample. I'm going to take that and like shake it up a little bit. And I'm going to apply it to my forehead. Just a little bit over here. Definitely love this beauty elixir. Um, it also helps with like dark spots and stuff. So I can definitely see where a lot of my dark spots have like completely like faded a the next thing I'm going to do is go with my Claudier primer, the eye cream. I'm just going to take this right here. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in my Claudier um, moisturizing moisturizer. This will focus. Um, I do have another one that I do have, and I definitely cut it open because I like to get the most of my product. Even though this is like a sample, like little um, travel size, sorry. I want to make sure that I'm literally just getting the most of this product. On these babies, I'm going to get these looking nice and fresh. So the first thing I like to do is take some Laura Mercier powder and apply it to my eyebrows. The reason why I do this is because unless I do this step right here, I always get a lot of oil above my eyebrow or like directly at the end right here. So I definitely like to do that just to mattify um, my brows a little bit. Then I'm just gonna take a spoolie and I'm just gonna brush my brows out. I like to brush them up. And pardon me if I'm looking this way. I do have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking this way. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. And I'm also taking their mini um, angled brow brush and I'm gonna use that to, to lift my brows, like right where my arch is. I definitely like just to lift it up and get the camera focused right there for you guys then i like to create my light definitely okay if the line starts off a little bit shaky you could always go back and fix that and then i this part of my brow i like to leave out because i'm going to do a different technique as a minimal amount of product on my brush and then i take my little spoolie and I brush the end of my hairs upward and I'm just going to use that to follow the directions of the hairs. So I'm just going to go up and upward motion. Put the LA Girls Concealer in the color medium beige and I'm going to use that to clean up my brows using this angled brush. I have no idea where it's from. I'm going to take it and just clean up my brows. One thing that I always do with my concealer as well, I like to take it out a little bit more than it used to be. So that's where I'm going to go in and like tap off most of the products on my brow and just do those hair like strokes again. So I'm going to one brow, I'm going to fix it up off camera some more and then do the next. Also as a side note, why I go ahead and finish cleaning up my brows, I like to go in with my Smashbox primer. I'm going to hold it so I'm just going to focus this camera and then I like just so once I'm done with my brows, I like to go in with the backup Ever Matte Primeless Pore and Perfector. And I'm just going to take, it's really hard to squeeze out, about this amount right here. And I'm going to warm it up in my hand. Warm, 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 warm. 
it's really important that if you do have this product and you do decide to go buy you have to do this step or you will just come out with little white spots on your arm I mean your face and you want to make sure that you only apply it to areas that you get oily in I like to use the NYX matte liquid liner and I also have the NYX that's the point marker the one that kind of looks like a marker this one just in case because I am running low and then Next, I like to go in with the Bye Bye Pores um, a Cosmetics Powder. It is a translucent powder. I definitely think it is a oily girl's holy grail. And I'm just going to take this beauty blender and I'm going to apply it to areas that I get oily the most. Also, I like to go in with the Laura Mercier and bake underneath my foundation. This will save your life. Oily girls, especially in summer, and I live in Florida, so it's hot, it's humid. It's everything. I'm gonna put that in all the areas that I did not apply that um, a cosmetics powder on. And then I'm gonna apply my mascara. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Mascara. And then I'm gonna apply my contacts and I will be right back to color correct and then put the foundation on. The next thing I like to go in and do is definitely dust off all the excess powder. I do have a dent angled brush that I use and I also have a stippling brush. Um, just depending on how like, like in my skin the powder is and I like Toodle between the two, sorry. Next, I am going to go in with my LA Girls Concealer in the color. It's just orange, right? That's what they call it. Orange orange corrector, yeah. I'm going to take this. And I like to spray it out like over paper because like sometimes it like squirts out and it's like it goes everywhere. With that, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And today I'm using a long comb, 24 hour tank idol ultra i can't pronounce that foundation it is like literally my holy grail i've been using it for the past month and you guys this is like the best 50 dollars that i've ever spent going with about one to two pumps so one full pump two full pump get that in there and then again spray my face with some fix plus i'm gonna be using this rounded foundation brush spray that as well with some fix plus so this step you're probably gonna be looking at me crazy, but I like to go with my Laura Mercy A powder. Get some down, kind of shake it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna take this wedge and I'm just gonna apply that powder, press it into my face. This might look crazy, and you're like, oh my god, you're gonna be totally white faced. That your flashback is gonna be nasty. No, it's not. This. I told you guys I live in Florida will give me that extra layer of matte that I have like always ever like wanted and it makes my foundation last so much longer. I'm just going to dust that off and I know I'm picking up very very light on camera but honestly that is what we have um, powder for. As far as my eyebrows I'm going to take this, I don't know what you're supposed to do, spoolie, I guess and just dust up. I've already applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel so it won't really affect my brow shape a lot. So next I'm gonna go in with the MAC Studio Fix NW45 powder and I am going to take this Morphe brush. Um, it's a kit. I'll definitely link the kit down below and I'm gonna go in with that powder on top and add some colors to my face. I'm going in with the Real Techniques powder brush. Yeah, no success. And this actually is an Inglot, um, just a little bronzer. Usually a lot of makeup artists use this, but I was at Macy's and the guy recommended that I use this um, as my bronzer. It was only like three dollars. I'm just like, oh, I'll take it. I went ahead and bronze up my face. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Peachy Love blush. I have been loving this blush. It was a birthday present and it's honestly been life. I'm going to be going in with that middle shade right here and the one on the left and just dust it off. I'm going to use some Fix Plus. This is the key step to mine. As you can see, I've just applied a lot of powders to my face. I have the Max Fix Plus, then I have the powder contour. Um, bronzer and then I also added that blush. There's a lot of powder on my face. So I want to make sure I want to secure that powder And I also believe 
that um, the MAC Fix Plus is great for um, adding that extra sheen to your highlight. And I'm going to go ahead with the Morphe fan brush. It's one of the large fan brushes. And I'm using also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit today. And I am going to go in. Let me see what I'm feeling. Amber Gold is obviously my favorite. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of Golden Dawn today and a little bit of Sunray. So. lip balm but I decided to go in with some coconut oil you know <laughs> and then next I'm just going to use a concealer I'm just grabbing any concealer to be honest next I like to go in I look crazy right now I know I like to go in with some Laura Mercier powder and dab that baby on my lips once my lip is looking like I just ate a whole bunch of powdered donuts <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this NYX brow pencil, I don't know what color it is, it's in Brooklyn Thorn, it is a brown brow pencil. This It has like kind of like a pinkish undertone, but brown pencils will save your life, especially if you're a girl of color. And I'm just going to line up my lips. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton, it's like my everyday lipstick, I love it, it's amazing. But I find that adding the brown lipstick kind of creates, like makes the color a little bit more like darker because it is a little bit light for my skin tone. So definitely like to add that brow pencil just to make sure that it doesn't come off like too crazy. And then just like that, I am done. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. Not all, baby. Gotta get this wig on to add my final touches. Uh -huh. Hold that in the back. Uh -huh. Hold on. Get the clip in the front. this is literally my everyday look the same process the only thing that might change is that might if I have enough time in my highlight and contour and then my lips might change the color that's it but <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it and let me that let me know what you thought down below let me know if you want me to do the review of that long comb foundation <sighs> Ooh. I'm so in okay definitely let me know if you want me to do a review of that foundation for you guys Thumbs up, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.